It was a normal Saturday. I was relaxing with my feet up on my desk. No business, as usual. And that's when she walked in. She had legs that went up all the way and eyes that could cut you like a knife. She told me she was in trouble. I'm scared. Can you help me? I'm such a little damsel. <laughs> Aren't they always? But somehow I believe this one. My husband's mean to me. He hit me. I promise. Somehow I knew that if I didn't help this woman, she might be on the front page a week from now. She didn't trust the cops. She didn't trust the FBI. She only trusted a man she could pay directly, and that was me. You're a big, strong detective, right? So, got to know her, took her out for a sandwich. She laid down her story. Seems her husband had been working overseas with some nefarious types. About three weeks ago, she had been back in touch with some of his old cohorts. Well, that was about the time he went missing. Your husband's dead. No. I saw him. I know you don't want to see it, but it's true. Don't tell me that. He double-crossed you. Whether you want to believe it or not, he double-crossed you. No one can double-cross me. I'm a woman, a lady with smarts and courage and pluck. I've got so much pluck. He was with another dame. What? I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's true. There's not much we can do about it now except deal with the repercussions. Do you trust me? Yes. Do you trust me? I always trust a pretty face. That'll be your downfall. Maybe, but not today. My travels eventually took me to the DeMott Studio Theater here at Second City at 10.30 on a Saturday night. Well, what I saw, I couldn't believe. Improvisers pretending to be people they weren't. Both men and women up on stage, lying outwardly to the audience. And here's the scary part. The audience was eating it up. They loved it. I might even go back next Saturday. She's dead now. I couldn't help her. But that show, that show was great. Mysterious and gorgeous. You're welcome.